What's up, gang? It's Ryan here with Ruck.Beer, taking a quick look at the Rucker 4.0. This is uh, the latest iteration of GoRuck's Rucker collection. These are bags that are built specifically for rucking and doing things like GoRuck events, uh, sandbag ruck training, things like that. Uh, a lot of features carry over from version 3.0. To begin with, we've got the four handles, one on each side of the bag. These are the standard GORUCK handles, a little bit of neoprene sewn in there to make them nice and comfortable on the grip. Uh, we've got the Bach X uh, stitching here to make sure that these handles aren't going anywhere no matter how much effort you put into them. Uh, we got Molly on the front and the sides, as well as on the shoulder straps on the back of the ruck. Carrying over from 3.0 is the uh, use of the 210D Cordura for the back panel as well as the interior of the shoulder straps. Uh, love this material, especially for my uh, rucks for go ruck events and rucking. Uh, I love this. Also, we still have the uh, additional padding here, this little lumbar support area which uh, I really love. It's a great addition to the pack. The Rucker does come with a, uh, what is that, one inch, one and a half inch um, sternum strap. It's already installed which, lucky for you because that's an annoying thing to have to do. Uh, that is our exterior there. Also carrying over uh, is this front slash, this reflective panel, which is really great for rucking in the evenings, not having to put extra reflective gear on your bag. Uh, it's very nice. And here is where we first encounter one of the major differences between the Rucker 3.0 and the Rucker 4.0. And that is that this front slash pocket, common on every other go ruck that's ever been made, in the history of GORUCK bags, this front slash pocket is missing. For me, I almost never use the front slash pocket, so it's not a huge loss for me. Uh, that said, the more I've thought about it, the more like I realize that I do sort of use it. I'll throw a piece of paper in there, like on when we did the star course, that was where I'd put our hit list. Um, I might throw my gloves in there if I'm just trying to get rid of them real quick. So it was a useful pocket. I just didn't use it that much. So it's missing, it's gone. Uh, I have mixed emotions about it. Now the reason that GORUCK got rid of it is the reason we're gonna see a change on the interior as well is they're trying to minimize the number of zippers on the bag. Zippers when it comes to rucks for rucking and GORUCK events and sandbag ruck and training they get abused, they get thrown on the ground, they've got 30 pounds, 20 pounds, 45 pounds and more in there. And every time they get thrown on the ground and those giant weights hit those zippers, it is a potential fail point for the bag. SCARS gets tons of requests for zipper repairs and they just realize the problem is uh, most easily solved by simply removing zippers. So we've lost that entire front slash pocket. When we get on the inside of the bag, as with all Go Ruck bags, it does open flat, so we do get that full clamshell effect, which is very nice. Uh, on the interior, again, as we're talking about zippers, here is where we have lost zippers for the top pocket and the interior mesh pocket. They've been replaced with Velcro and these little quick grab tabs. So you simply grab and pull and you're in, and you'll see that there's Velcro here on the inside. You've got this little flap here that you need to pick up in order to get good grip back on those uh, Velcro. It also prevents water or whatever from seeping into that pocket. It's a little annoying getting that out of the way every time, but the, the high vis red is nice, especially if you're doing an event or something at night. You can just find it, pull it, get into your bag, and zip it or Velcro it back up. Personally, I almost never use this mesh uh, pocket, uh, almost, almost any of my Goruk bags. So uh, access to that is not that important to me. Um, 
I do throw lots of stuff in this top pocket, so getting in and out. I do like that it is quick and easy. Boom, you're in, Velcro back, and you're good. Again, you can even see in that quick movement that this little lip of material doesn't quite fold over. You have to give it a little special attention if you want to, to mess with that. Um, am I upset that zippers are gone? Not terribly. Uh, I probably like them better, but I also think that I'll quickly get used to this. I do like how quickly I can get into the pocket, uh, especially for events and stuff like that. That'll be nice. Um, but that is one of the major changes for the GORUCK uh, Rucker 4.0. When we get on the inside over here, we do see a few more changes. Uh, first off, we've got this addition of one, two, three, and I hard to see that one, uh, D-rings. Uh, I can't super personally see a reason that I've ever needed D-rings down here at the bottom. I understand you can get some webbing and some clips or whatever and secure something. I just have never really felt the need for that, um, and so I don't really know what to do with it. We did lose on this uh, the additional pouch for your water bladder, so maybe the D-ring is there, maybe you get a band or something to go across to keep your water bladder a little more secure. Um, the other upgrade to the 4.0 is right up here. On our plate carrier, GORUCK has really beefed up this uh, bit of padding. Uh, one of the, I guess, complaints of just the nature of uh, doing things like bear crawls and burpees and up downs and man makers is that as the backpack moves, this weight, since it's so high, is right there at the back of your head and has the tendency to bonk you if you are moving too fast and not carefully enough. Having this extra padding here is really nice. Uh, it does protect the back of your head better. Uh, so I do like that improvement. Uh, this is the 20 liter Rucker 4.0. So we only have room in here for the 30 pound ruck plate. Uh, it is a snug fit, but it will get in there and lock down. Uh, this also comes in the 25 liter, which uh, will accommodate the larger ruck plates up to the 45 pounder, which is very nice. Um, however, for me personally, when it comes to go ruck events and rucking in general as a sport, I prefer the 20 liters. Uh, there's very few times where I need 25 liters worth of gear, equipment, and food when I'm at an event. Normally I just need my shell, the weight, the water, and a few snacks, uh, maybe a change of socks. Um, all of that easily for me fits in the 20 liter, and so uh, I, I much prefer that size. But Lots of people like the 25 liter. If you go with the 25 liter Rucker 4.0, I do believe it comes with the padded hip belt, uh, which is for some people a nice addition. Uh, I have never been a big fan of hip belts. Um, so that is the quick look at the Rucker 4.0. My take, it's a tough one. It's a great bag. If, if you're in the market for a ruck for go ruck events, sandbag ruck and training, or just general rucking, it's a great bag. You're gonna be happy with it. Go ruck makes great stuff. They stand by it with their scars, 100% guarantee for the lifetime of the bag. Is it an improvement over the 3.0? I'm not 100% sure it is. I don't feel like it's a dramatic loss or just a terrible iteration. Uh, but I do think that the, the loss of the front slash panel for a lot of people and the uh, getting adjusted to the interior Velcro pockets, it's just a little bit of a curve. Um, so I think personally, I will probably stay with my 3.0 um, just because I love it. 
It's a great bag. I've got it already. I'm going to keep rocking with it. Uh, is this a great bag and will it do an amazing job at everything that it needs to do? Absolutely. Uh, if you've got any questions about the Rucker 4.0, uh, drop them in the comments of this video or of the post that it's on. We'll be happy to give you our thoughts. Uh, also, be sure to check out our video of the long range Rucker, which is the um, even larger version of the Rucker that was recently released. Uh, basically, it's like if a Rucker and a GR2 had a baby, it would be that, and it's pretty amazing. So check it out, uh, and let us know what you think.